Today, I'll be showing you how to add your NFTs manually into Coinly. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're specifically talking about this article, how to add NFTs, NFT trades manually, which I will leave down below. So Coinly now supports NFTs for some blockchains. Um, please see this article to learn more about the current NFT integration. So this article is going to be updated very shortly. For now, it's really straightforward to actually add NFTs. Usually when you add information from your wallet or your exchange, your NFT information accompanies that and you actually don't have to do anything. So, you know, we're working on adding more and more exchanges, so you have to do less and less. Um, however, there are some exchanges that still require you to add NFTs manually and that'll probably stay like that forever. There's always gonna be some exchanges that don't have support for probably a while. So I thought I'd cover this video until this article gets updated. So today we're specifically talking about adding NFTs from exchanges um, where that information does not get accompanied with, you know, let's say your wallet or your exchange information. Okay, so adding a purchase of an NFT. To add a purchase of an NFT, you should first locate the transaction where you spent your original coins. For example, if you used Ethereum to buy an NFT, then you should have a withdrawal of your uh, Ethereum in your wallet. Pretty straightforward, makes sense. After finding this withdrawal, you can click on edit and change the type to trade. So I found a transaction in mine that was a withdrawal um, and I have this here um, trade. I've set it as a trade and then I basically put, you know, this is just a demo, obviously a dummy transaction. So, you know, for it cost me one Ethereum to buy this NFT. And as you can see, I selected this um, NFT one option and then I add a description board ape. Obviously, I don't have that kind of money but that'd be cool so and that's the example they give us here as well so um you can adjust the received part uh, of the trade and use one of the nft placeholders uh names such as nft one two three four and so on and so forth depending on how many nfts you purchased you can add as many as you like obviously uh you can also add the name of the nft in description so that's what i did here i you know demo I, I call it the board ape um after saving these values coinly will automatically calculate the cost basis of the nft based on the value of the spent coins and that's exactly what we have in this example here so type of trade uh type of transaction we made it a trade and in this example we've spent 0.84 ethereum um from our metamask wallet and we received one nft token and then we've given a description cyber monkey penguin at um, number 69 so there you have it uh, really straightforward for adding a purchase of an nft let's move on into adding a sale of an nft so to do this you should follow the same process as above but this time you're looking for the transaction where you sold the nft so for example if you sold your nft and received ethereum instead then you should look for a deposit of ethereum so after locating this deposit once again we're going to do the same thing we're going to um, click on edit and then change this transaction uh, to say trade and then you can adjust the spent uh, part of the trade and choose the same nft that you selected for the purchase so if you selected nft1 then you are also selecting nft1 for the sale part uh, you can also add the name of the nft in the description so once again here in this example uh, metamask sent one nft um, so we sold it we sold one nft and we received 0.33 um, ethereum so um, you know point five ethereum ish of a loss there and once again we've given it the same description but this description is not tied to what the actual nft is this here um, nft1 is very important that should be identical to the above part so um really straightforward stuff i don't think there's anything here that's too complicated obviously if, if you are struggling let me know in the comments and i'd gladly help you out so after saving these changes coinly will automatically calculate the proceeds and gains of the sale by using the value of the received coin. So once you have added both the purchase and the sale of the NFT, then Coinly will update the calculations and display the trades like this. So let me just zoom in a little bit here. And that's exactly what I was saying here. So um, the same NFT we bought for 0.845 uh, Ethereum, we sold for 0.33. So that is a hefty loss of 2,000. Uh, and $43. So some other things that are good to know, each NFT needs to have its own NFT placeholder so that they don't get mixed together. We have 5,000 different uh, unique placeholders. So, you know, you can add as many NFTs as you like, um, but each placeholder can only be used to track one single NFT. If you use the same placeholder for multiple NFTs, then your cost basis will not be tracked correctly. So, um, I don't know, let's say you have a lot of NFTs and you've maybe lost track 
of your placeholders. Make sure to double check uh, that you don't have duplicates uh, because that will, that will mess up the cost basis calculations. But there you have it. I will leave the article down below to the one that I you know was talking about in the video. Uh, for other you know things, for other articles, we have the Coinly Help Center where we have countless different topics on crypto tax related topics. We have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. We have a forum section where you can talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we, we'd love to help you out. So if you found this video helpful in any way, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.